welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's gonna be my first like just sit down chatty video that I have filmed in quite, quite, quite some time. Um, I always want my channel to be a place that's like a very fun, positive, like happy escape. But actually that's not even true. I want to actually just like connect and relate with you guys. For the most part, obviously, I want it to be like a happy place. It is a lot of my life, but I also want to be able to relate with you guys and I feel like I've become really like closed off almost in the recent year and I don't share as much which I think is fine and there's like boundaries and whatever but I am honestly like just going through it right now and I I shared last year so this time last year must be the August time of year for me um this time last year sorry the dogs are eating it is their breakfast time and I'm about to get meet a friend in like 20 minutes but this time last year I was really really going through it and then probably from like January to July was just really good like I was in a much better space like more myself and I just felt really good and then August came and while I've like been doing fun things I've just been feeling like really really off and really down I think I've like a lot of stuff's just been going on in my personal life or things that I've like made realizations about my life, but I'm just like, I, I don't know. I, I can't really, just things that like I'm working through now that I feel like I just ignored a lot of my life. Like, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. This is a recent thing. Eventually when I have like better things to say, we'll talk about it, but I just have been in this like weird slump that's really down. Like I don't want to say depressed even though I have struggled with anxiety and depression like my entire life on and off, but I didn't even get out of bed one day this week, which is like so, so, so not me. Like I've also been like really hesitant to like open up and share things because like I know that I really do have like a great life and I really am so grateful for it, but I feel like that I'm like overly aware of the internet over the past year and because of that I don't open up as much and that really upsets me because I want you guys to like get something from this channel and like relate like I know when I'm going through it and I see someone on the internet opening up or talking about something that I'm also going through it just like makes me feel so comforted because like I know that I'm not alone which is why I wanted to just film this video and kind of talk to you guys just about random things and thoughts that I've been having I think your 20s are hard which is something I say all the time um it's not this revolutionary concept I think everyone knows that but it's just been a really really weird time and I think where I've had times where I haven't really dealt with like like insecurity or comparison or whatever honestly until the recent months not that I've never dealt with it obviously I just mean like to the scale that I've been dealing with it I think I've kind of actually really gotten past that normally I feel like I know who I am I know what I want and all of a sudden in the past year especially a lot of that has changed and that's normal like you grow up and that stuff is going to change it actually should you should be more worried if you still want you wanted when you're 17 but I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like rocked my boat a little bit. So like when August hit and then a bunch of other stuff happened in my life, like I, I don't know, I feel like I will feel bad. I'll feel really down for like two weeks and then I'll get up and I'll feel better. And then like the next week it's so much worse. And then I'll like hit down again. It's like I'm drowning and I like can't get up. And that sounds so dramatic, but like I don't know how else to describe it. Like I literally would be like, oh my God, I feel so good today. I'm totally fine. And the next day it's just like, nope, never mind. I'm just kidding, you know? And like therapy is also... A really 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 great thing but it's also really really hard like I think I've had months in therapy where it's been pretty easy I feel good but then like the more I think you heal and go back to the more you realize you have to heal and go back to so there's a lot of things recently for myself that I'm like I think I just lied to myself about that like because I really truly like in my heart of hearts believed what I was saying but it wasn't the truth like but I convinced myself that that was true as like a defense mechanism like and I'm talking like childhood like forever ago but I'm just now like oh that actually is a problem or oh that actually did bother me or like certain things like that where like I for so long would have told you like oh no this is the best thing ever this is so great and I truly truly believe that but like I just at that age didn't have the tools to deal with it so I think I just like put it aside and then like convince myself and like as you get older and you develop the tools to go through things and like handle things it's gonna come up but I really thought Nope, not true at all. Like, I guess I'm just a liar. I guess I'm just a liar. That's kind of what it's come to. And also, like, healing isn't linear, which is something I've always said and talked about. But, like, I think you can deal with a certain incident in your life. And not that, like, one incident you're going to be dealing with for the rest of your life. But I think that, like, a big traumatic event, for me, I have noticed that I will deal with it at that age, at a year, years later, whatever. And then, like, 
at 24, I deal with it in a different way. Not that I'm not like fully healed or moving on. I mean, maybe I'm not in certain cases, but like it's like I'm older and it affects me as a 24 year old different than it affected me as like a 15 year old. You know what I mean? And then I have to deal with it like as a 24 year old and like what I think now and what I want now and how this affects my life and how I view my perspective and whatever. And also I feel like there's just been so much has happened at once. My therapist always says like, you just have like a gray lens right now. Like your perspective on things is everything. So there will be a time where something really, really bad will happen, but I'm healthy and in a good place and I'm able to deal with it better. But now like when everything bad happens and then I'm in this more vulnerable place where I'm feeling down, then obviously like I'm gonna be wearing like gray tinted sunglasses and I'm gonna see things differently. Also like another thing is that I've just been feeling so lonely, which I feel like, I feel so stupid saying for a multitude of reasons. One, I kind of feel like an asshole saying that because I have really, really good friends and I have a good amount of them. I will say one of the things that I'm going through right now is like reevaluating who I'm around and spending time with. And I think that's so normal. Like I think everyone should do that. And it's not really anyone who's super close to me, but it is just like social outings. And I'm like, when I leave that, I don't feel good. Like I, those people do not make me feel good. And it's n honestly probably nothing personal to them, but like there's something about it and I don't know what it is, but it doesn't make me feel good. And I don't really want to be a part anymore. Like, and because I know it doesn't make me feel good, I'm actually like, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. But for so long, I was doing it because I was like, oh no, like it's my fault or like, I don't know why I feel that way or whatever. And it's like, at the end of the day, I think it doesn't even matter whose fault it is. Like there's just something about it that makes me not feel great. This is such a small majority of the people that I spend time with, but that in itself, I'm like, I end up feeling awful and I don't know why, but I just know it doesn't make me feel good. And I hope I don't make people feel that way. But if I did, I would hope those people would like distance themselves from me, you know? But anyways, on the topic of feeling lonely, like I just, I don't know. I have so many good friends and I feel like this is something I've always dealt with in life and it makes me sound so stupid. And like, I feel like almost like stuck up saying this because I have great friends. So I feel like in my head, when I feel that way, I don't even want to voice it because then I feel like it discredits the people around me, even though it's not a them thing, it's a me thing. I, I of course, did some research. Apparently I did read. This is what I'm always going back to. Are your 20s hard or is this just how I deal with things and want to like blame something, you know? Um, but it did say that your 20s are your loneliest years of your life. So, just saying, it's not just me. Anyways, I don't know. That's just been like really weird because I'm also, it's not even like I'm just like surrounded by people that make me feel lonely. It's like I'm surrounded by really good people that I really love. Like there's a lot about my friendships and things that I am changing, but I do have like, solid people who I adore and I spend like a lot of my time with them um so maybe it's just the fact that like there have been other people who have been like not making me feel that way if any of you guys have felt that way and can explain it better like please do I don't know why I feel this way I have such good friends everywhere too like it's not just in Dallas it's not just in LA it's not just in New York like and I have so many people that I can call on the phone and just like cry to which I do and I have been doing a lot this week as I said I Literally, I don't think I've cried like I have cried in the past few weeks so 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 much and Literally just laid in bed for like I can't even tell you and I don't There I mean I definitely know a lot of the reasons why but like it still sucks, you know Also another thing that I normally like don't do like on one end I am hard on myself and I do expect a lot but on the other I think like Maybe that's more like socially and like personal growth but on the other I don't feel like I beat myself up. Like if I make a mistake or if I like embarrass myself, I'm like, oh, whatever. Like I do let those things roll off my back. But for some reason, like I have just been like hating myself almost or like beating myself up for things. Like why would I let this person treat me this way? Or why would I get into the situation? Or why did I react that way? Why did I even do that in the first place? Like things like that, that are really honestly not that big of a deal. Like Things happen, people make mistakes, you move on, you grow. And it, it's honestly like not even all mistakes that I've made. Like it's just when you're in a situation, you're like, why did I let myself get treated like that? I don't know, just being so hard on myself, which normally I can consciously be like, hey, it's okay, it wasn't your fault. Or even if it was your fault, you know, like take responsibility, move on, grow. Like that's not you. But for, hi Fitz. But for some reason, it's just been a lot harder for me to do that. Hey, can you get out of the frame, bud? Thank you. For some reason, it's just, no. okay, dude, hi.
And then I will spiral, which I feel like what, it, what it's been is that normally I'm able to get myself out of the spiral before. But I think I'm just too far into this thing and there's just too much happening at once that then I'm like, oh my god, I hate myself and the choices that I've made. And then I like spiral, does everyone hate me? Like, or like one person will say something and then it's like, oh my god, everyone hates me. Which one is obviously not true, like that's an extreme, but also like... It just like spirals and then I'm like, what's wrong with me? And then I get like really insecure and like I compare myself and like that is not me. Like I know myself. I don't know who I am right now. I'm a little bit confused about that, but that is not me. Like I don't do that. I don't think that way. I normally am like, no, like that's just not me, you know? So it's like I'm doing things that are just not me and I don't like it at all. I think a lot of people go through this, but like realizing a lot of things that you thought growing up were just like not true. And then just like working through that, I think that's been like a really big one. Like I feel like I have like a constant headache because I'm just like, I don't even know how to deal with this or how to work through this. And then just feeling like really anxious and honestly like kind of depressed. Like I really hate, I really hate using the word, but I've just been really down. With that being said, there are definitely times where I'm in a better mood or if I'm happier, if I'm with my friends, like not everything that you see is like fake by any means, but it's like, I think at the end of the day, like, you really never know what someone is going through, honestly. Another thing that I've realized is that, like, I think a lot of people will relate to this, but when you grow up in, like, a very tumultuous home, like, when your childhood is really all over the place, when your parents get divorced, you're back and forth, there's a lot of family drama, family conflict, whatever it is, I just want something consistent and stable. Like, that is all I want in my life, and I am now realizing that more than ever. I'm like, I just, that's why I think I love... A lot of the friendships of people who I've known for years and even if we like grew apart at certain points we've come back or people that I have kept for years like I think I don't want to like let go of certain things because to me that brings me stability even if like the healthy thing is to just kind of like move on from that so I think it's hard for me to let go of things that in my eyes have brought me some sort of stability even though maybe it's like necessary I don't know guys like I just think I don't feel like myself right now. I don't really like how I'm like reacting or responding to things. Like I almost don't recognize myself. I think that's the thing. And I think this happened like very dramatically and very overnight. And this could be a hormonal thing. Like I have a lot of hormonal issues that we've been talking about that I'm still working through. But I just don't feel like myself. And that's another thing, like, I will feel weird. I'll feel really down for a day and kind of, like, catastrophize and thinking and be like, oh, my God, like, instead of just letting my emotions, like, pass and sitting with them and letting them, like, flow or pass through or whatever they say, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. I think at least in the past month, regardless, though, I've just been feeling off and I haven't been feeling like myself. And I, it's not that I don't like who I've become, but, like, I don't know. I just feel feel like even like my view of myself has changed and that is what really scares me the most because that is the one thing that I feel like I've always had like I've always had a very strong sense of myself and I've liked myself like it's not even that I don't like myself I just don't feel like myself and that's what stresses me out and also I think another thing is like there's so many things that I want to do in life and I've gotten so far like I have gotten really far into what I want to do but obviously there's always going to be more and that in itself like almost paralyzes me because I'm just like oh my god how am I going to get there but then I'm like I've already gotten here like I didn't just get here to stay here like there's going to be other things like I'm going to get there and it's not going to be an overnight thing but that in itself like has just been really almost like intimidating and like stressing me out too which is kind of weird because normally i have this like very naive like i can do it i'll be fine and like i figure it out and i do it and it works out but i i don't know guys like i've just been i've just been feeling weird so i love you guys i am so grateful for you guys and i am grateful for my life obviously but i did just want to talk about some things that i've been like going through in my mind because i know like a lot of you i, I hope at least one of you We'll relate to this video um but if you're going through a bad time like i am i always talk about the six month rule and this time last year um dom and i kept saying in six months life is going to be so much better and things will change and whatever and in less than six months it was so much, it was like the best that it had ever been and so i just keep thinking about that like there are good things that are happening like jess will be here so soon i've made new friends that i really love I love my friends right now currently and just like the plans that we have for the fall and I do know that this is something that I will get through and I will get out of and I'll be stronger because of it and I'll probably like myself even more after I get through it 
been listening to Casey's new album that came out this morning. Um, wow, breadwinner Casey Musgraves. If I had that song a year ago, I would have been a monster. Like, thank God it came out when it did. God's timing, you know? But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.